kids. We're here in the Owens Valley still. I am going to ride up this road here. I'm going to, uh, I believe it's Onion Valley, somewhere like that. But you can see the road it goes up here and zigzags and stuff. So hopefully I'm going the right way. Been trying to find this spot for a while. And uh, now I've got plenty of time to find it. So let's continue on up the hill. Got to be careful about that. See how the kickstand's sinking into the asphalt. I don't know if you saw it on camera or not. Sorry about whipping my head around like a fool. If you're watching this on a big screen TV like I might be. Because I do watch my own videos. You know, kind of like a, a diary of what I'm doing. Hopefully the camera's not too dirty. I'm going to change the angle a little bit. So you guys won't suffer through the top of my helmet. But you do get to enjoy my loud mouth breathing. Sorry about that. Don't get fat, kids. All clear. Let's make a go. Uh, I think I got everything here. Adjusting my microphone here, please pardon me. Alright. Let's see what we got going on up here. We're gonna just come up on a locked gate. It's hard to say. Close that top vent. It's a little loud. that don't like scrape in the turns. Like I could throw this thing around. Don't ever cross the line, kids. It's not safe. You 
see those are the old California style guardrails. They don't make those anymore. That's that's from back in the 50s. Hopefully we'll get to a spot up here where I can show you guys the view. Probably tighten up my front forks a little bit. It's I got them set to comfortable. <laughs> What's really cool is there's like nobody up here. It's just, it's just me in this road. I don't even know where it's going, really. Who cares where it goes? All I know is that it's fun. Probably should have downshifted in the first. Oh, scraped my peg. Ah, first time. First time I've ever scraped. I really should adjust the suspension on this thing for my fat butt. Look at those old guardrails. I think now they have to make them to a, sp a specification where it'll stop a semi truck from blasting through or whatever, but yeah, there's no semi trucks on this road. They are not allowed. I don't trust road surfaces like this where, you know, they were filling in the the tar and stuff, like this one where it's got fresh asphalt. You can hear the gravel kicking around in my fender, so not a good idea to lay it down too much. Man, that's beautiful. I hope you guys can see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop and just let you look. I'm not, I'm not here to race, seriously, kids. That's the road I'm coming up on. Look how zigzaggy it is. Isn't that crazy? I hope you can see it. Uh, let's, get, let's get going. Oh, take it off on a hill. Man, look at that. I bet there's a mountain lion up there looking at me going, oh, yum. You guys see a mountain lion up there? And if you do, let me know. I'm faster than a mountain lion right now. Now if I was walking, oh my God. I'd have mountain lions and bears and, and sheep all over me. Sheep. Do they have sheep up here? I know we, have, we got bighorn sheep there in Nevada. Well, not too far from Nevada, so. I hope this road keeps going. It's, it's fucking amazing. Look at the sun shining through the rocks up here. Let me get you up here. I don't want to blaze too much into these turns. I really don't know, though. That's starting to get cold up here. It's 48. A little bit of a rock slide. Oh, gravel. <laughs> yeah. See, that's why. Look at the rocks that fell down. Holy crap. Yeah, that's why we don't blaze into the turns, kids.
one time I didn't need neutral, I found it. I do not claim to be a good motorcycle rider. I'm just going by the freaking guardrail, you know, if, if there's a guardrail, it's probably a 40 mile an hour turn. Look at this. sand on the road. Onion Valley, elevation is 9,200 feet. Wow. Is there a lake over here? Look how beautiful this is. What do we got over here? Should we go over here? Let's go over here. I hope the, uh, I hope the GoPro's showing all this. I'm going to stop and get some pictures too, but. Is that gate locked? Yeah. Robinson Lake Trail, Kearsage Pass Trail. Isn't this cool? Those are bear trap, or not bear traps, but bear proof. I'm gonna I want you guys to. <laughs> Motorcycles a little hot. I hope I didn't block the camera there. But yeah, look how beautiful this is. It's uh. Two o'clock in the afternoon. And then up there is ancient bristle cone pine. They look dead, but they're not. Those have probably been there, you know, they say th two, three thousand years. Hope you can hear the water, the birds. All right, so that's the camera angle I'm going with. First off, I have to apologize. I am breathing very hard, very taxed breathing, because we are at 9,200 feet, I think. I, I really apologize. I, I hate being fat, I really do. But let's quit crying. And start riding. The problem is, is my microphone is so close to my mouth. There's just, there's no way to, to really alleviate that. I always get nervous that my kickstand's still down, but uh, on this bike, it'll shut itself off if 
you try to ride the kickstand down. Lots of gravel on the road. A little bit of snow. You hear the gravel on the, the fender. Yeah, we'll stop in a couple spots and let you guys see what, what this little road has to offer. Yeah, there's rocks and stuff popping up through the tire there. Kind of running out of daylight. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And, uh... Not that I really have any place to go, but I would like to get off the road before dark. I don't mind riding at night, but I just don't want to today. I'm trying to enjoy myself. Now that I check my audio and hear how loud my breathing is and how booming my voice is, I'm self-conscious. Slow down for this turn here. Probably shouldn't do it at 50 mile an hour, right? I mean, I could. Um, so, this road is famous for an I Love Lucy episode where Lucy and Desi had this little uh, travel trailer. It actually wasn't a little travel trailer. It was probably like 30 feet or something. And uh, I think the whole premise of the show was coming up this road. <laughs> I don't know. I had to go back and watch it. Oh, gravel. from where they put uh, they don't salt the roads up here they, they put down um, what do you call it volcanic rock because uh, this whole area here is all dormant volcanoes and stuff there's a cool little trail you see it over there kind of cut in the mountain Look at all the rocks that have fallen down. That's a big one right there. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. No need to cook it. No need to overcook it either. I bet that's the old road. I should point with my right hand. I just pointed with my left hand and said, you can't see it. The camera's on the right. Okay, now I can point. Right over there. See that? Looks like the old road. You see any mountain lions over there? Any bears? Bears and mountain lions? You see any mountain lions riding a bear? This is this is that country. Look how the rocks are green. What do they call it lichen? Try to cut down on the wind noise here. It's whoa! Look at this view. That's the uh, that's the Owens Valley. There's going to be a couple spots here where I can give you guys a good view. It's almost hypnotizing. Yeah, pay attention to the road here, but man, look at that view. And then the road we come up on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop here. Right here on the cliff. Look at that. You see the road? It goes down the hill here. Zigzags. Zigzags over there, zigzags over there. All the way down there. You see it? I should be able to zoom in for you kids. Let's see. Will it allow me to zoom? 
No, it won't. All right, kids. Back to my heavy breathing because I'm at altitude and I'm fat. I changed the camera angle to linear, so it's not so uh, not so wide angle. So, but yeah, there's the road I was telling you about. Comes up to Onion Onion Valley. It's wonderful. There's water running down the creek over there. I'm going to continue down this road. I'm going to leave it on uh, on this view. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, hopefully it gives you guys a better, better view, or at least a closer view of... what we're looking at. Don't want to fall off the cliff. I don't like dirt in my tires either. This place is cool. So happy I found it. Isn't that a cool picture right there? Man. I don't trust these turns. You know what? Nothing wrong with stopping right here. Take a look. Yeah, there's no traffic. Let's continue, huh? Yeah. Can't get over this. Yeah, there's no traffic coming up. Use whatever lane I want. Hope you guys can see this. up here somebody drifting or something oh, I don't like gravel on the road you hear it my tire cool to see Caltrans up here he's probably the dude salt in the road or sand in the road messing up my ride Yeah, I think we were at, what, 90, 200 feet at the top? And then the valley itself, I think, is only, what, 3,000, 3,800? You can see there's a road down there. That's where we're going. Look at that. That is crazy, kids. I don't know what community that is out there. It's probably, I don't think it's Independence. It might be Lone Pine. Look at this road. I wish it was in better condition. Like I said, I really don't trust the turns. Well, you couldn't tell by how fast I was coming up the hill earlier. I found it trustworthy then. And going downhill is a lot different coming uphill. Downhill, you can build up speed a little bit too quickly. It makes it harder to stop. I hope the video comes out okay on this. We get to see the the sights. I'm kind of glad I got the road to myself too, because I'm, you know, riding my own pace. I don't like being bothered. I don't like being pushed. I don't like people in my way. 
I think what I'm trying to say is I don't like people. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I don't know if it's that I don't like people. I just... There aren't too many of them I trust with my presence. Always, always trying to steal my presence. the front brake a lot on this thing. If you use a rear brake, it's actually linked to the front brake a little bit. I guess most people are rear brake users that... I don't know. I'm, I'm more comfortable. Maybe it's from BMX riding or something or mountain biking or... I just always had a, a, a pretty good trust in, in front brake. And this thing's got some good brakes. This is this is the first motorcycle I've ever owned that you know I can I mean I, I just really don't need to downshift, I can just bring her down. Just by the brakes. There's a little trail over here. Do you have saying trail bike? Over there behind me. You can't see that. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. As I get closer to the bottom of the valley here, it's warming up. It's currently 46 degrees. But, uh, now we'll get down there. Uh, I see a little white spot in the road. Should I show you guys what's up? What's up over here? Make sure there's no traffic behind me. This is like an old road or something. What do we got here? That's dirt. I don't do dirt on this bike. Pretty cool view, right? Yeah, this must be the old road. Stop in Lone Pine and get a motel. Cause there is, there's actually a lot to explore, even on even on a street bike like this. Looks like the old roads up there. California has always been weird about the roads, you know they. I think one's good enough for a while, and then they decide to realign things. I don't know if California's really like that anymore. I don't think they embrace change as much. Well, at least infrastructure-wise. They sure embrace change and progressive ideas and stuff. I used to love California. I grew up here. Being a truck driver, I've I've come to uh, not really enjoy, not really love it. So that's the road we were on, way up there, kids. I don't know if you can see it, like up there. See where it zigzags, zigzagged all the way up into that little canyon. And then down here, a little cabin. Water come down that the mountain there goes down this little creek. We're gonna cross over right here in a second. You see the tree line, that's where the creek is. That, I bet that's like the ranger station or something right there. Yeah, the creek's running under us right now. It's pretty cool. Well, there's 
not much left of the ride here, so I want to thank you guys for riding along with me on this one. This, this is kind of cool, right? You and I both got to see something that, uh, well, that I've never seen. You know, I don't know how many people watch my channel actually, uh, you know, pay attention to my channel actually go the same places that I've gone but you know, this, is, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit here. Don't need to go sailing off the road. And yes I'm a pretty cautious rider. I don't I really don't push this thing a whole lot.